Lift up your hands, everybody, and celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus, the one who can do what no man can do. He has brought you here to attend to you alone. Please celebrate him, celebrate him, celebrate him. He has brought you here alone to, to attend to you. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Likrobo shake it again, the mali aratanda. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we worship. Say that amen very well. Look here, you are going to pray only one prayer point because of time. Between now and the end of this year, give me something to celebrate. Are you sure you are with me? Give me something to do what? Celebrate. To celebrate. He can do it. Amen? Amen? Let me tell you. He can do it. Nebuchadnezzar. Sunday school teachers. How many years did you spend with Mr. Animas? Seven years. In his returning, Mama, did he lose anything? Huh? He did not lose anything. Huh? Bible teachers. Do you ever ask a question? Why didn't white animal kill him in the bush? You want to know the reason? You want to know how? One. Anytime lion is coming, he will change to lion. It will change to what? And when they bring themselves, as he passed, he meet bear, it will change to bear. And when they meet themselves, because if normal lion met him, in another form, it would have become meat. It doesn't matter what you are passing through. Between now and the end of this year, give me something to celebrate. Are you ready to pray? Raise your right hand of fire. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father. Between now and the end of this year, give me something to celebrate about. Open your mouth and fire that prayer. Give me something to celebrate about. 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 Give me something. 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 Give me something to celebrate about. Between now and the end of this year, let me have tangible, feasible, feelable, touchable things to celebrate about. Things to celebrate about. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. His name is higher above hell.
Your name is higher than every other name. We give you praise. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for choosing to visit us this month. Please accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. You are not tired to bless us. In this last service of today, let our heavens be open. Let there be a rain from you that people will see and say, truly, God has visited them. Let it be so in the name of Jesus. Honor yourself in this meeting. Put the devil to shame. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Somebody say that amen very well. Amen. Celebrate Jesus with your hand clap over everybody. <laughs> Wonderful choir. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. Job chapter 10 and verse 12. Job chapter 10 and verse 12. Thou hast granted me life and favor, and thy visitation hath preserved my spirit. Please listen. Only God, please take notes from where I'm entering now. Only God has capacity to visit every man every day. Don't still forget divine visitation. Only God has capacity to visit any man every day. He has capacity for that. Because he's the only one who can pronounce out, I love you. Hello? Are you still with me? Only him that has the capacity. The Bible says, Who is man that thou visitest him every day? Physically, somebody pay you visit every day. Won't you be tired of him? <laughs> but can I submit to you, sir? Stay with me. Oh. Any day God refuses to visit you, you are dead. Are you with me? Any day He refuses to visit you, you are dead. Let me go a little bit deeper. It is his visitation that keeps you alive. Hello? And when he visits you every day, he won't leave you until he makes sure every part of your body is working. In his visitation, any part of your body that he did not touch by his, by his visitation will not work that day. Oh my God. Are you sure you are with me? Let me, let me explain. When he starts to visit, it may be 4 a.m. And as he came, bam, he will touch your hair. To make sure that it's what? Huh? It's working. And by that time, the cock will crow. And when the cock crow, your hair will hear it. Say, ha, ah, day has broken. It is the programming of your father to check that the hair is working. Number two. After that, he will touch your private place. 
to check whether it is working. And you will be feel you will feel pressed to go to the toilet. After he has checked everything, making sure that they are working, he will announce to you or known to you, hello, my child, see you tomorrow morning. Oh my God. Are you sure you are with me? Let me repeat myself. Any day Baba refused to visit you, you will be dead. And I go deeper more. I go deeper more. How many of you can pray this prayer? Lord, don't allow people to die. Stop death. Is it a good prayer? Sunday school teacher. You know I was a teacher. Sunday school. That's why I'm referring to you. You are my colleagues. Is, it, is, that, Baba, is that prayer a good prayer? Can we raise it up? Father, stop death. Don't let people die. Don't let people die. Is it a good prayer? Huh? It is not a good prayer. Huh? Can I shock you? The day, oh my God, Isaiah 41. The Bible says, because thou art precious in my sight. That is why I give people to die for you every day. I use my own word. That's why I give people as a ransom. That's the word the Bible says. But I, I'm using my own. That's why I give people to die for you every day. What is the meaning of that? Any day there is nobody to die for you. <laughs> Huh? He said, I will give men for your ransom. So which means, oh my God, anytime you hear somebody died, is that person needed to die for somebody else to be alive. Are you sure you are with me? I give men do you now know the reason why he pay you visit every day? He needed that so that you will not die for somebody else. You don't understand. So that it is somebody's I refuse to visit that must die for you. And I pray for you today anyone who needs to die for you let them die yeah. oh my god I say let them die yeah. who is man that thou visitest him every day can I go deeper are you sure you are still with me because you are extremely important before God that is why he pays you visit every day. Now, in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, can you remember that? Genesis 1 26, he said, let us make man in our what? It is because you are so special in his hand. You are not created by speaking. You are created by his handwork so that he can continuously appreciate you. Abi, kiri yo baso. Mwani ko senti o fe ki shi o wo re o te kini. Ko ba je. Ko senti o fe ki shi o wo re o ba je. You are the anti work of God. And you know, sir, in the first day of divine visitation, he has supplied all what you need for life. Oh my God. Can I explain? Huh? Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. The scripture says, yes, and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground 
and breathe into his nephew. The breath of what? And the man became what? By single visitation of divine breathing, everything you need in life is in that breath. Everything you need in life. You don't understand. Can I take you deeper more? Do you still remember? It is not by mistake that God calls you man. Huh? Man. Because of this visitation of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7, he paid you a visit and he breathed on you when you are Mr. Nothing. Huh? And the man because of that single breath I pray God will, God will help me for us to understand what I'm saying now because of that single breath anything that happens around you now you permit them hello huh? anything that happens around you what do I say now you permit them if this understanding comes to your head and you know it, you dictate what happens around you. Because of that single visitation of divine breath, you dictate. I've told you here before, maybe, 1983, a brother of mine, Christian brother, has a kiosk at the orientation camp, NYSC. He asked me to go and sell soft drink on the field for coppers. I carried the soft drink to the field. A cooler loaded with what? Soft drink. Cooler loaded. Soft drink. On the field, no single coppers Ask me, oh boy, what are you selling? No single coppers. All other guests, women and boys, they were selling their soft drink but only me, mama. No single coppers. Suddenly my understanding opened that all the things I need is in me. I am the one that allows what happens in my environment. Say, hey, 1983. And I stood behind the cooler. In the name of Jesus, on this orientation feed, I stop all selling. All selling stopped until I finish selling this one. If I don't finish it, nobody sells. You are not there, but God was there. I'm telling lie. Less than five minutes, one copper said, Oh boy, what are you selling? I said, What do you need? What do you care for? He mentioned. Within a few minutes, I finished selling everything. You are not there if I'm telling you like God was there. I will be judged on that day. I carry my cooler. I was going back to the kiosk. Holy Ghost came to me and said, won't you lose those whom you are bound? <laughs> he said, won't you lose them? You are not there. But the moment I had that from God, one copper said, oh boy, soft drink. I said, it is finished. Hey, hello, girl, girl. Soft drink. If you have that mentality, one divine visitation of the bare breath has secured your future permanently. It has secured your future. What? Permanently. He breathed on man one single visitation. The breath of what? I am parabolating, you know, there is a deep sea I'm going. And that is why don't allow anybody to castigate your brain. You have all it takes 
to be the commander of circumstances. You have what it takes. Like I told the father, the man of God in the hotel office, I said, if you know who you are, what this visitation has given to you, there is nobody on this planet heart that the prayer of your mouth cannot control. Nobody. Huh? When, we are in, when I was in Lagos 3, a sister came to me, I told the pastor, said, sir, I finished preaching at the future house. And she came to me and said, sir, one time president of Nigeria, Oh, my father, several millions. And he refused to pay my father. I said, what do you want? Sir, please pray. Let him pray. Let him pay. I said, we pay. He has no option. He must pay. In the name of Jesus, you so, 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 no rest until you pay. You are not there, future house. Two weeks after, the sister came to me and said, Sir, he has paid. I said, You must pay. I said, You must pay. I will not pay. He must pay. Because of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7, he breathes the breath of life. Everything good for life and godliness has been released. It is for you to walk in that understanding. It is for you to walk in that understanding and begin to enjoy the makings of God. The makings of God. The makings of God. Begin to enjoy it. He prayed on them. He's there. Let me go deeper. Maybe you have heard before the word man. Huh? The word man. He has something to do with 24 hours of the day. The word man has something to do with what? 24 hours of the day. Because of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. That's the one I'm breaking down. It's just that scripture I'm breaking down. Huh? What is the first letter for the early of the day? Eh? The first letter. Eh? The first letter for the mid of the day. What is the first? Eh? What about the evening time? Night. Call it together. Man. Morning. Afternoon. Night. M A N. Man. When you have this understanding, whatever happens in the morning, now you allow them. Whatever happens in the afternoon, now you permit them. Whatever happens in the night time, now you permit them. You have what it takes to control it. That was the mentality of the Joshua time. And they said, Son, I give you no permission to, to go and enter. No, remain, remain, remain. Because I have the power to control. Believe me. Huh? When I was a student, part time student in one eye institution, I control the time lecturers come to class. I control the time they don't want them to come to class. If I have preaching engagement, in as much my lecturer move within 24 hours of the day, huh? which has something to do with me. Man, money, afternoon, and night, which has something to do with me, I control. If there is any other segment <laughs> different from these three, I may not control. But all segments is still within these three. You obey me. One day I was to go and preach, and I said, They said, Oh, this old guy is coming. Oh, he never changed his time. Oh, he stays. So, oh. I say he will not come until I return. Simple. 
Simple. And I went for preaching. I returned 12. And I asked them, has he come? They said, Sebi, you said you are, he will not come. He has not come. <laughs> How can you come? Huh? It is one thing to know who you are. It is another thing to act. Like that. Whenever God decides to visit, number one is to fulfill his promises. To do what? To fulfill his promises. And I'm submitting to you today, whatever promise that God has ever made for you, by the reason of this service now, there shall be a fulfillment for you. If you believe, please say that amen very well. I said there shall be a fulfillment for you. He promised Sarah. Chapter 18, verse 1. He made the promise. Chapter 18 of Genesis, verse 1. Chapter 21, verse 1. He fulfilled the promise. That I will return according to the time of life. According to the time of life. Listen to me. His promise covers all your need. When he decides to visit you to fulfill the promise, all your needs they will be met. All, all. Why? Because God is not a man that can tell lies. Huh? Certain things I want to say now, difficult for you to believe oh. Is it possible for you? Don't trust the word of a man. Don't trust the word of a man. Mama, when we, are, when we were about to vote 2019, one naira will become one dollar. Have you? Petrol will come back to 45 naira. I think we are enjoying it now. That is the word. That is the promise of a man. That's the promise of a man. And all of us human beings, we quickly enter it. We bought into it. No, 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 no. And we didn't know that there is a bait. There is a hook in the bait. We thought, we thought, the bait is free, not knowing that there's a hook inside. But the God of divine visitation will deliver us. The promise of a man is in their nursery. As they breathe, they breathe out. Don't pay or don't live your life on the promise of a man. Man is man and God is God. The one that promised you might have may, may die before the day of fulfillment. The one that promised you may not even have resources to supply when you need it. But oh God, He has all resources. Whenever He visits, is to fulfill all His promises. As He promised you, sir, go and sleep. The fulfillment. I told them in the first, in the second service, the fulfillment is coming. He's coming. He promised a woman, you will never put to bed through CS. And for their first pregnancy delivery, there was no way for this woman to put to bed without CS. She kept on telling the husband, telling the doctor, no, that was not what God promised us. Say, our delivery will not be by CS. They try everything no way for her to deliver. But sir, man might have forgotten. But the promise one, the one who made the promise, can never forget. On this very day, in pain, they will her to the theater room upstairs. Because they convinced the husband, the husband convinced her. So the, when they convinced her, she said, no, no problem. 
But no, that was not what God said. So they, they will her to the chatter room because of God who has capacity to fulfill promises. Doctor, they place her on the bed, but doctor forgot something downstairs. He went downstairs to go and pick what he forgot. Before he returned, he has put to bed. I prophesy to your life by this divine visitation. All he has promised you, he shall come to pass. I say, he shall come to pass. Sit down. Whenever God decides to visit, it is to take out of bondage. Genesis 50, verse 24, our anchor scripture. Genesis 50, verse 24, is to take out of bondage. Is to, whenever he visits, he is to take someone out of prison. Mama, there are many people today, they are living, but they are in prison. They are living, but they are in prison. Jeremiah 52, verse 31 to 34. Jeremiah 52, 31 to 34. Genesis 41, verse 9 to 14. Genesis 41, 9 to 14. Divine visitation. A O king. With all the privilege, what do you call it? Uh -huh. Of kingship office. Everything was where in the prison. But one visitation from evil man, we call him evil Merudash. So the person God wants to use to take you from the prison. Uh -huh. Initial pedigree may not be okay. Oh. Don't conclude on him yet. Even a dead clock is useful two times per day. A dead clock is useful two times per day. Even my brothers, he entered the, the prison. The only assignment he did was to bring out the king in the prison. And when he brought him out of the prison, the scripture says, number one, he changed his garment. Change the garment. I don't know who's the enemy now. Every satanic garment on your head. Every garment of shame. Garment of poverty. Garment of suffering. Garment of pain. By the reason of visitation into your life today. That garment is removed. I said the garment is removed. He says he changed his garment. He put on him another garment. What is that? The honor he has lost. Let a new garment that will bring back that honor come upon him. Wherever they have not been recognizing you before, after this day, ever we announce your recognition. I say, ever we announce your recognition. If you believe, come and say that amen very well. See that Joseph was in the prison. And the scripture says, he changed his garment and they brought him out. Whenever God decides to, to visit, he is to take out of prison. Is there anybody in the prison of emotional trouble? Is there anybody in the prison of marital jittery? Marital disappointment? God will visit you. Oh my God, I say God will visit you. I said, God will visit you. Amen. We have a man in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I won't tell you the name because of my security. He lost his wife. He's a man that can never talk. But God needed to visit him to give him another wife after years of waiting. It, do you know, Mama? It was the woman that he will marry now that God paid a visit. 
And God told her, that is the man you will marry. If for the man directly, he won't hear any voice. And this woman, Baba, everything good for living and livelihood, God has shown. You need one visitation for him to connect you with the man or the woman that has your future in their hands. Your future celebration in their hand. Your future life. Your future joy. I pray for you today. Anointing to connect. Whether the man is in the north. Whether the man is in the east. Whether the man is in the west. Whether the man is in the south. Anointing to connect. Receive now in the name of Jesus. I say receive now in the name of Jesus. See that, let me tell you one more and I close. Whenever God decides to visit, he, he can pay you a visit to turn your emptiness to your abundance. Amen. To do what? To turn emptiness to abundance. He did it for Peter. In Luke 5, from verse 1, to seven. He did it for Peter. One visitation. The emptiness of Peter was converted to what? To abundance. Can I make a statement, sir? If Jesus didn't pay Peter a visit, there using his boat, Peter would have returned home empty-handed. Why? Because all the fishes needed for Peter all of them have gone on strike. No single one. They've gone on strike. None of them was available. But the moment the master came to preach, all of them reconvey. They return back. They were under the boat hearing the master. And the Lord said quickly to Peter, say, Peter, now that I've used your boat, before this fish dispersed, launch your net. Once I finish preaching now, they return to strike. But now they are still around. And I can see how many are they. One net cannot. It's only nets. So therefore, Peter, launch your nets. The mentality of failure from the night. Huh? As handicapped Peter. And Peter said, Nevertheless, at thy word, I will launch a net. And when he launched net, fishes meant for nets. They are struggling for how many nets? One net. I don't know where you are being empty. God will visit you for abundance. In 2 Kings 4, verse 1 to 7, 2 Kings 4, 1 to 7, the woman was empty. She didn't wait for the senior prophet to visit her. She was the one that paid the prophet what? A visit. If mountain refused to go to Mohammed, Many a time, Baba, it would be good for what? Mohammed to go. This woman didn't wait for the chief prophet to come to her. She was the one that made the step to visit the prophet. And the prophet said, let me change your emptiness to abundance. What do you have in your house? She said, a small quantity of oil. That is enough to settle your debts. I'm not here only to set to your debt. I want to change your level for permanently. Go to your neighbors. They have what you need. They don't use it. Go and collect it. Huh? You don't understand that statement. They have what you need. They don't need it. Go and collect it. They have fessus lying down. Go and collect it. 
do you know, sir? There are some certain things belonging to you in the hand of somebody else. By the reason of this meeting today, they will release it to you. Hey, hey, hey. I said they will release it to you. Remain standing. Let me close. A man of God, Baba, a man of God, God spoke to him and said, at Asorok, I have a pasu for you there. And he said to God, he said, Lord, but, but yes, sir, you are collecting it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, sir. You are in the spirit. Joke apart. Joke apart. You are in the spirit. Joke apart. I'm telling you, I was preaching in Jigawa one day, years ago. I slapped a brother, copper. I said, God will relocate you soon. Amen. He didn't say amen. I said, say amen, say amen. He was serving. He was serving. Three months after, we are waiting for the coming of Mami Gio. And I received a call. I, I said, this is this American number. And I picked the call. I said, who is this? He said, my name is Brad Joe. Huh? I said, how come? He said, you said it, sir. You said it. God said to him, he said, I have a pastor for you at Asorok. He said, I don't know anybody there. Amen. I said, I don't know I don't know anybody there. He said, whether you know or you don't know, I have a pastor. Amen. 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 So, Mama, prior to the time, the first lady of an, one African country has paid a visit to the first lady of Nigeria years ago, and they gave from the sea in sea here, gave her a pasu. Written at the back, from sea in sea. A pasu. You know a pasu that? A pasu. You know it? A pasu. She collected the pasu. She went back to her country. Months after, the man of God has a cause to go and preach in that country. And in that program, first lady was invited to the program. She came. And the host announced, said, anybody, when you are coming tomorrow, bring a gift to the guest minister. When she came to Nigeria, she collected the parcel. She just dropped it in her wardrobe and forgot it. The moment the announcement was made, when you are coming tomorrow, bring a gift for a man of God. She said, what will I bring? Oh, it just came upon her, pastor from Nigeria. When she was coming, she, without opening, she brought the pastor. It's true to life, not fable, not fake. And gave to the man of God. When the man of God look at the back, from sea in sea, Nigeria, and God said, what I said to you, I brought you to this country to come and collect it. Oh. Whether by divine disappearance, by divine getting visa, anywhere the miracle belonging to you, God will arrange you to get there. He will do the arrangement for you to get there. If you believe, let me hear your name. Say, Father. Say, Father. Visit me today. All my emptiness. Confess them to abundance. Open your mouth and pray. Today, Rakata, 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 In 
Jesus name we pray we are going to pray visit me and restore all my losses restore all my what all my losses visit me one visitation one whatever you think you have ever lost restoration is possible restoration is possible I tell you, restoration is what? It's possible. It's possible. If the hold didn't go, the new may not come. Visit me, restore my lost. Visit me, hold it, hold it. Yes, hold it. Maybe a, a brother in Abuja, he lost his wife. When he lost his wife, he was crying profusely. Crying profusely. A pastor, pastor, his, his pastor now carrying him to Daddy Jew when he, Daddy Jew came to Abuja. And that now make a statement and said, the Lord will restore your lost with testimony. Amen. Not long after that, after the number years of in redeemed standard, God brought another woman to his life who looked exact, exactly like the dead wife. The first day, he, she followed this man home. The children ran away because they thought their dead mother has come back. Who was this woman? A powerful person at UN, United Nations. Baba, the only daughter of her wealthy parent. Only daughter of her wealthy parent. She told this man and said, Inasmuch I have decided to marry you. She happened to be a black American. I give up all my UN assignments to marry you. All my wealth given to me by my parents. No, no, be now. <laughs> Hello? From that day, from that day, this brother Hello, sir. Favor of God will bring all your lost. As I turn up the microphone now. Hello, sir. You have not lost anything. They are out of your hand. So that the bonuses on top can be much. Are you sure you are hearing me? I have Bible, I have Bible submission for it. Nebuchadnezzar. For seven years, he lost seemingly the throne, the glamour of the office. But when he returned, after seven years. Chapter 4, verse 36 and 37. With his own mouth, he said, when, I, when my reason returned, and I returned to my throne, additional majesty, excellent one, was added to me. So which means for seven years, he lost nothing. Can I repeat myself? Whatever you think you have lost, no, it is out of your hand for the interest and bonuses to multiply. Amen. Raise your two voices, say, Father. Amen. Your two hands up, say, Father. Amen. By your visitation, Amen. all the things I seemingly lost, Amen. let there be a total restoration. Open your mouth and fire the prayer.
total and complete restoration total and complete restoration total and complete restoration total complete total complete total complete total complete total complete you did it for job you can do the same for me total and complete in jesus precious name we pray i prophesy on you today all your sweat is converted to sweet yeah. uncommon flavor uncommon flavor that converted labor to favor let it come upon you now in the name of Jesus I hear something from the Lord right now and I prophesy on your head now he said the forgotten shall be remembered your papers of promotion that they put on that carpet that they say no 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 we won't promote you now I command anointing to travel to your future withdrawing your promotion bring it to the present let it come on you in the name of Jesus let it come on you in the name of Jesus oh Lord on common visitation that we take this your people from the back seat to the front seat I decree receive that now in the name of Jesus Visitation that breaks protocol. Amen. That breaks protocol. Amen. Oh, that breaks protocol. Amen. That breaks protocol. Amen. I know you don't qualify for it, but we are giving you now. Amen. The the visitation that breaks protocol. Amen. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I command the kind of miracle that will make you to become an envy to your nation, envy to your generation. With the word of God in my mouth, I pronounce it into your life. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. I hear a word from the Lord. He said, Announce to that boy, announce to that brother from today, no more failure for you. No more failure for you. Oh my God, I just saw something now. I saw a door flung open. I just saw, as I looked towards me, I saw the door flung open. I don't know who is that person. By the reason of this meeting, every door closed, every door that was closed, I released the word in my mouth. That door is open for you now. It is open for you now. The door of business of connection, the door of promotion, the door to travel. Door is open now. Uh -huh, I can hear something. The Lord said, Tell that, my son. From this day, you won't miss your direction anymore. You won't miss your direction anymore. You won't miss it anymore. Every of your step will be accurate. I say it will be accurate. If you believe that, lift up your boat and celebrate Jesus. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. As I close and drop the microphone, you need to say, Pastor, please pray for me. My life needs the hand of God. My life needs the hand of God. I cannot continue the suffering of my parents. No. My life needs the hand of God. This sin must live my life. If you are in that category, please, please, lay your right hand on your chest. If you are in that category, lay your right hand on your chest. Why all eyes close? Please pray this prayer from the bottom of your heart. You are not here to meet with anybody but to meet with your maker. From the bottom of your heart, say, Father, 
I cannot allow today to go like that. My life must make a turn around. But that this sin in me, I present it before you. Pleading the blood of Jesus to wash away my sin. Make me anew. Forgive me all my known and unknown sin. Help me to follow you. And when the trumpet will sound, help me to see you before I see death. Thank you for saving me. Glory to your name. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. Those of you, let your hands still remain on your chest, your heart region. If you pray that prayer and you are truth to yourself and you want the church to pray for you, please raise your left hand up. You pray that prayer and you want the church to pray for you. While the right hand is on your chest, raise your left hand. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. I want the church to stretch forth their hands to you. I want the church. Please, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, with your hands raising up, can you make a step forward so that they can stretch forth their hands to you? Make a step with your hand raising up. Come, 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 come. Ushers help them. 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 Please 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 help them. Church, stretch forth your hands to them. Pray that the power of sin be broken out of their life. Pray that the mercy of God will locate them. He will forgive their sin. Grace to follow God will come upon them. Pray for yourself. Lord, I'm standing before your altars. Forgive me all my sins. Give me the grace to follow you, never to turn back. Please pray. Let's pray for them. Let's pray for them. Let's pray.